Hi everybody, welcome to part one of a series of videos on predetermined tracks, PDTs for short. These uh, videos are aimed primarily at my students in the Selkirk College Professional Aviation Program, but if you're a commercial pilot student at any flying school, you may find this useful, so feel free to watch. I'm using a piece of software that you'll find on the uh, Selkirk College website. Uh, it's just simply called Intercepting a Course and the, uh, the computer uses a random number generator to uh, generate an infinite number of courses for you to intercept. The, the clearance shows up right here in this red box. So your call sign is Pilot 200. In this case you're cleared to intercept a course of 250 inbound to the Charlie Mike Beacon. So this is the Charlie Mike Beacon here in the middle. And uh, the airplane is you. And here's the course 250 inbound to the beacon that you've been assigned to intercept. Now the way we do a predetermined intercept, we have a little saying that we, we use uh, for inbound intercepts. We say desired to the head plus 30. Now what does that mean? Well the desired in this case is the course we want to intercept, 250. So we go to our RMI and we put our finger on 250 right here. And then we go to the head. So I have to move this direction to the head. And then I go another 30 degrees. That's all it means. So I need to turn to a heading of 300 degrees. So I'll start time now and I'll just turn uh, left here to a heading of 300. And uh, using the, the watch up here you can increase the rate at which time passes. So I'll just take it up to three times real time here. So that'll just save us a little bit of time. So we see the airplane coming around to a heading of 300. If you remember what we learned earlier about uh, just basic tracking, you know, we're always pushing the head. So here on the heading 300, we're pushing the head towards 250. So here's 250. So this is clearly going to work. And we just have to wait for the needle to approach 250. You want to lead it just a little bit so we don't overshoot. So there's about 260. And there's about 255 or 256. So just wait till it's almost at 250. It's about 253, 252, and then I'll start to turn in and uh, roll out on the heading 250, and oop, there we are, right on track, piece of cake. Okay, so I click uh, do another, and the computer generates another one for us. So this time the computer wants us to intercept a track of 1, 1, 6 degrees inbound. So, do you remember how to do it? The saying is desired to the head plus 30. So the desire here is 116. So I find 116 on my RMI. That's right here. Go to the head. It's right there. Plus another 30 degrees. So that'd be 10, 20, 30. That'd be about 65. So I'm going to turn to the right to heading of 065. And again on the the map up here you can see this very easily but of course in the real world you would only have these instruments you wouldn't have this map so we can see now the heading 065 I'll just speed up time in the interest of saving time this is going to get us on track so we're pushing the needle over towards 116 so there it is about 100 and 105 just coming up on 105 there Now it's coming up, up to 110, so we've got about 6 degrees to go, and I'll just lead it a little bit. So there's 113, 114, 115, and we turn into 116, and there we are, right on track, 116, piece of cake. Okay, so now we'll do another one, but this time, to make it more challenging, hit the hide all button down here at the bottom. So that makes the, uh, the airplane and the course disappear. Now we'll hit do another. And uh, so it's going to be more challenging this time. This time the computer wants us to intercept a track of 071 degrees inbound. So again, remember, desire to the head plus 30. So we find the desired 071, that's right here. To the head is right here. Go another 30. So that's 10, 20, 30 is right here. That's about 115. So I'm going to turn left to heading of 115. 
give or take, you know, so I'll be precise here, but it doesn't uh, have to be. I'm just save a bit of time. I'll speed it up. So now, are we pushing the head of the needle towards uh, 071? Yes, we are. It's at about 076, 075, just coming down towards 071. That's, so that's about 073, 07. Two and we turn into zero seven one and we're right on track and if we show the picture we can see yep there we are we started up here and now we're here we did a good job okay now we're going to move on to do outbound intercepts so if you notice here in the bottom left uh, of this piece of software is currently set to inbounds within 60 so we'll turn that off and select outbounds and then we click do another so this time, if we read the clearance carefully, it says we're cleared to intercept a track of 285 outbound from the beacon. So this time, the computer would like us to go outbound, in other words, to the left. So we have a different saying for outbound intercepts. For outbound intercepts, we say tail to the desired plus 30. So I put my finger on the tail. It's right here. I go to the desired, which is 285. That's right there and then I keep going another 30 so there's 10 20 30 so 30 past 285 is 315 so I'm going to turn right to heading of 315 like so I'll speed it up to save a bit of time and we can see here on the map that that's working great but we can see it down here too because now we're pulling the tail of the needle we want to pull it up to 3, uh, correction to 285, so it's uh, currently on 270, 285 is right here, so uh, this should work great. So it's about 272, about 275 now. Almost up to 280 now. So there's 280, and about five more degrees to go, and we'll be on track. So there's 282, 283, 284, and we're just coming up to 285, so we turn left to 285. And there we are, tracking outbound 285. Okay, that was pretty easy. We'll click do another. Okay, that one. Sometimes, the, since it's all random number generated, we're virtually on track on this one. We can just stop and have a look at that if you want. So, uh, we've been asked to intercept the course zero, zero, 006 degrees outbound. And if we look at the needle, we're on about zero, zero, 003. So, we're essentially there. The thing to do in this case would just be to turn to uh, zero, zero, 006. And uh, by the time you do that, you can see that you would in fact already be on track okay so that sometimes happens so that happens actually surprisingly often in the real world but anyway I'll just click do another okay so this time we're asked to intercept 074 outbounds so remember outbounds it's tail to the desired plus 30 so I put my finger on the tail I go to the desired which is 074 so that's right there then I go another 30 so that's 64 54 44 right there so I want to turn to 044. So I turn here to 044. And notice that you know it doesn't matter if you do exactly 30. And in fact, some schools teach different angles. Some schools teach to do a 45 degree intercept. There's nothing wrong with a 45. Uh, we just like to do 30 at Selkirk. So uh, off we go now. The tail of the needle is on 080, and we're pulling it up to 074. So it's about 78, 76, 75, and we turn to 074 as we come on track. And there we are tracking outbound 074. Okay, that was pretty easy. One more, but this time we're going to hide all the training aids to make it a little bit more difficult. So uh, we click do another now. And the computer would like us to intercept 083 outbound. So we go from the tail right here to the desired, which is over here. 83 is right there. And then go another 30, so that would be 73, 63, 53. So I'm going to turn to 053. And 
and speed it up a little bit. Okay, we can see that we're pulling the tail, so we're looking for 083, which is right here. And we're pulling the tail up towards 083, so this is working great. It's got 130, 125, 120. It will clearly keep on going until it gets to 083. If I show the map, you can see that we are, in fact, on track. So I don't think we need to, uh, to even complete this one. Let me show you one other thing that you can do. Uh, you know, because now you should start practicing. You should use this computer program to practice. You can just watch this video over and over again until you get the hang of it. But the other thing you can do is use the computerized flying structure. So right here, there's the You Have Control button. If you click You Have Control, this green box appears. This green box is your flying instructor's brain. And you can read what's on his mind. So the flying instructor is doing the predetermined intercept. And if you read what it says here, it'll tell you step by step what he's doing. And uh, so he locates the desired on the RMI, that's 083. And uh, then goes 30 degrees past that, that's 053. So you notice he's coming up with the same thing that we did. And then you'll see the heading bug come around. You can make him think faster if you speed up time. He'll think faster by the way. So let me just show you, you can do an inbound here. So if I turn outbounds off, turn this on, click do another with the instructor flying. Uh, see he's thinking really fast now because I've got time running at three times normal uh, time. But if you're, if you're trying to get him to actually teach you, you might want to do this at a slower rate of time. So between this video and the, uh, the computerized flying instructor, you should be able to practice until you can do predetermined tracks. Uh, in this episode, we've done RMI tracks. If you come on back for part two, we'll show you how to do it with an HSI. Okay, see you next time.